up guys, it's Matt from Mona Rock & Co again, I'm back. Had a long summer building skateboard parts, but uh, that's done for the season now. So today we're going to work on some small projects. I've got this old, what looks to be like a seed spreader. Um, I got it from an auction at some point. I think what I'm going to do with it is chop it down to about 16 inches and make a towel rack uh, for our bathroom inside. Let's do it. <laughs> So that's it, I got it pulled apart. Um, decided to take all the hardware off and kind of sandblast it. I also have to spread these further apart so that I can um, hang a towel in between, essentially. Sand this up, get it painted, get this stuff sandblasted. Probably just put a coat of translite on it. That stuff works pretty well. Good self-leveling properties. Um, makes crappy things look nice. So, yeah. Um, get it back, let's get it done. Alright, so we're at the sandblast, we're going to put these parts in, hopefully make them look like new. I've got steel bead in here like now, right now, I've got steel bead in here right now, like tiny little steel BBs. It works really well for taking off rust and stuff like that. It's not too abrasive and it doesn't make dust, which is the best part. So we've got this thing taken apart, it's all sanded down, do a bit more on the inside, clean it up some more, I'm going to put a clear coat on this. I sandblasted and painted these parts, they turned out pretty nice. I'm going to reattach those afterwards. I'll have to come up with a way to attach it to the wall, uh, it should be pretty easy, just some screws up around the top on an angle maybe I think. engine on this J-Craft, a uh, small block V8 I believe, so let's do it. Alright guys, so my neighbor dropped off this boat, <clears throat> uh, left water in it over the winter and the block froze. So we have a short block inside, or sorry, a long block rather inside that's bare. We have to switch everything over, I'm going to pop this thing out of here. That's it. Shouldn't take too long. Alright everyone, so I find the easiest way to do this stuff is to stay super organized. I like to label pipes and wires that are maybe weren't connected or go to a specific area, uh, starter wires, things like that, fuel lines, you want to make sure everything goes back the same way. Took a lot of photos as I took this thing apart. Um, as you can see, we got bins over here to start organizing with. And keep the boat covered up because nobody wants to damage somebody else's stuff. So uh, I had to back the um, boat up into the shop here. I can barely get it in. I'm going to pluck this engine out and uh, start swapping things over. Get it on a stand, I guess. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to try and separate this part. The housing, the block. See what my neighbor wants. 
else to do. Yeah, get it rolling.